In the previous video, we took some resources in Azure. We exported the template, the ARM templates, and we got the template.json file and the parameters.json file. And we defined the QA tag. Um, it was production originally, and we updated it to QA. And we basically ran the deployment script, which allowed us to deploy the, um, the resources as they were to a new resource group called QA. And um, in this video, we want to look at what is BICEP, how can we use it, and what is the advantage um, that we have over ARM. BICEP, at the end of the day, still runs ARM templates. It's, it's essentially a um, domain-specific language that from Microsoft where you, you create it in a slightly different syntax. It's a lot cleaner. It's, um, there's a few differences there. And, um, and you, once you run your BICEP, um, it actually transpiles it to ARM and runs the ARM template. So when you're running BICEP, you're actually just running ARM, but you define it in the BICEP format. And uh, we'll take a look at that. So one thing to note is that when you go to export template, like we did in the previous video, you only get the template.json files out. So if we want to start using um, BICEP, we have to take the the exported um, template.json and we'll use the same one in the, as in the previous video and we'll convert those to a BICEP file and run those from there. So let's check if um, a BICEP is installed. So we can say AZ BICEP version. If it's not installed, you can say AC BICEP install and um, that will install it. And if it says that AZ BICEP is not recognized, um, just update your AZ CLI. We've got it installed. We've got our template, and now we want to convert that to a BICEP file. So fortunately, there is a tool for us um, in the command line. So we can say AZ BICEP decompile, and um, we can say which file. And in this case, we're looking at the template.json file. And this will take this template.json file and decompile it to a template.bicep file. Um, and you'll see a couple of things over here. It looks like it went horribly wrong. Um, it still did the conversion. You'll see template.bicep uh, with a bunch of warnings. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming this will get better over time. There are some mistakes that it does make. Um, the documentation itself also indicates if we look at um, Microsoft, it says convert. That's a step we did. Then migrate where it, it recommends we create a new bicep file migrate resource by resource just making sure that all is good from there uh, refactor the naming that it that it creates isn't too great and then we deploy but let's sort out the errors first otherwise this won't work so the first one is a SKU, and um, so this is on the blob service and remember blob is part of the storage account and this, the SKU should actually be defined on the storage account which it is um, however over here. However, for some reason, the convert also put it on the blob service. Second error, let's go over here. It indicates the resource declaration is missing uh, the following properties uh, location. So, yeah, that's correct. For some reason, it didn't uh, put the location down over here. So, we can do this and say South Africa North and define it like that. That should have solved the errors. The rest are warnings. I'm not going to jump into those. Ideally, you want to fix all the warnings as well. Um, but uh, let's, let's do a comparison. I think that's quite important. So we'll notice that um, this, this is quite an obvious difference. The parameter is defined like that. This is really clean. This is really nice compared to this. Um, and for instance, if we had default values over here, we would have to define it like that. Uh, if I could spell. Um, and for instance, that over over here, we can simply do this, which is a lot more intuitive. Variables are a similar case. I don't have any in this script. Um, so let's let's look at the resources though. Um, in in the ARM template, we have a resource array, and one by one, we define the resources where it's got the type, the API version, and the name. Um, and so the difference over here is that instead of an array, um, each resource is defined as a block. And, um, but we still have, you won't see the, 
the type and the API version here, but you will see it in the string over here. So you've got your type and your API version, so um, which is still all present. As for the rest of the fields, um, they're very similar. I mean, if you're looking at, at these, you don't really gain much by moving over to Bicep. It does read a bit cleaner in my opinion, but it's still, I mean, it, it's still quite readable here. It really isn't that different. The parameter reference, however, I really like. So for instance, here we wanted to use the name that we defined up here in the parameter. And um, we had to do that. And now we simply just use the name that we defined up here in Bicep. We've got um, concatenation as we discussed in the previous video. Um, I mean, this is really difficult to read. Concat, open brace, then it's a string comma. Now it's the second piece that we append, which happens to be a parameter. And later you really lose track of what's what um, ultimately concat ends over here. Um, this is still a, a complex line over here that we do, but however you'll see it, it's just a string and our concatenation is string interpolation, which is so ingrained these days with almost every every language. So um, this, this makes it a lot easier to read in my opinion. Um, for the most part of the script, it's actually quite similar and you don't have a, such a big advantage. So uh, one thing that really is uh, stands out for me is modules. And Bicep allows us to um, actually create a module and it where we can define in a different bicep file we can define maybe so in this case the storage account but we could have um, certain groupings of resources together in ver uh, different modules and refer to those in the main uh, bicep script that we refer to and we can't do this directly in arm i know there's there's external links that you can use um, so you might be wondering hang on if if we're transpiling from bicep to arm, how can we do something more in bicep that we can't do in arm? And, and the reason comes down to, um, it actually just when it transpiles, it just puts it into one big arm template. Um, so it's still just using one, one arm template. So we've got the benefit of uh, modularizing um, certain components or um, services that or resources um, that we want to create. But um, ultimately, they're still one big file uh, when we run. Let's run this. So we'll, we'll create a dev uh, resource group. This one doesn't exist yet, so we'll create that. While that's busy, we will quickly update these to dev as well. Looks like the dev resource group's created. Let's take a look. And here it is. Let's... Um, update this to dev now this in this case we want to point to our bicep file not our template.json um, file anymore and we'll run this deployment and while while that's running we can actually see that um, there are some warnings not unnecessary depends on remove unnecessary depends on so what bicep also does is um, with arm template we have to define the depends on and Bicep allows us to remove those and it will explicitly know um, when we're referring from one to the other, um, which depends on which. So that's implicit now with before it was explicit. You can however still define those and um, maybe for to be more explicit about it, but it's no longer needed. And there we go, it's, it's finished running. So if we quickly take a look over here and we refresh, we'll see that we've got our um, items over there. We look at the deployment. We should see all of these in green and we do. If we weren't sure what the bicep script would, would do, um, very similarly to um, the arm template, we can also run the what if command, um, which is comparable to the Terraform uh, plan. So if we were to run the same command, we'll just say what if we run that and um, this will now uh, print out what it would do before we can do it and so we can verify we're happy with that and then run it or decide not to and there we go so it printed out exactly what it's going to do and you'll see um, the different types what's it going to delete create modify no change no effect etc we can go through that as well